guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella today is tuesday may 24th i think i'm just sliding in my chair I'm sitting on my leg i need to get off my leg because <laughs> i gonna fall asleep anyways today i just wanted to catch up with you guys because i don't have enough stuff really to make an actual episode um because i have three whips but two of them are secret whips uh for a stitch your stash and a stitch your library projects projects that i'm working on so uh yeah but anyways i wanted to sh hop on here and show you my finished goose i finished it like a week ago <laughs> and i've been waiting to make a episode and i just haven't done it yet so here's my little goose this is from stringy ding ding um olive i think it's so cute i used worsted weight yarn and i think i used a g-hook i used a hook i don't know i don't have my notepad in here i don't know where my notepad is but it's cute i'll link it below if you want to check it out uh it's just white and I think and this is um light raspberry I thought it was so cute I use 20 millimeter safety eyes I just think she's adorable it took me forever to get the wings right <laughs> but um they're still not perfect but they're good enough <laughs> I think she turned out so cute so it's mother goose and um I just think it's adorable I love it I made it for like when I read um nursery rhymes to the babies <laughs> well Jessie doesn't really do nursery rhymes anymore but June will when she's old enough to like understand them anyways it's adorable and i'm glad i made it i'll link it below <laughs> so the only whip that i have that i can show you is my sweater it's still pretty small so it's still in this little <laughs> project bag it'll have to upgrade eventually to a bigger rag but it is the what is this called i already forgot oh gosh it's not on here oh yes it is <laughs> the trinity puff sleeve sweater by ac crochet club and i got it on etsy it was four dollars when i bought it it is a crop top now, I don't know if I'm going to make it a crop top. I might. I do wear high-waisted jeans. I like the really, I like the super high-rise jeans um, to cover up my stomach from having babies. <laughs> but, um, so crop tops don't really show anything if I wear them because my pants are so high up. But, I don't know. I might make this longer. I don't know. I'm just going to get the first panel to the size and see how it's going. But, I'm using a K-hook, which is a 6.5. Yeah, 6.5 millimeter. And this is what I got so far come along can't hold it perfectly straight the way it's supposed to be <laughs> but I love the way it's looking so far this is uh, the front panel or the back panel I guess it doesn't really matter they're both the same <laughs> um, and yeah so I'm, I'm marking every 10 rows so it's easier for me to go back and count this is the first one and then that's the 10th one and the 20th one and then I'm on like 27 I think um, right now but I love the way it's come out so far it's so pretty this is red heart super saver retro stripes and uh, I got a whole bunch of it gifted to me so I'm gonna make a cardigan or sweater with it this is a sweater it doesn't open it's like a pullover sweater uh, but that's it so far I haven't worked on this much at all because I'm working on two other projects um, that I'm hoping to make videos for soon but it'll stay forever <laughs> with life and everything but today I did some sewing oh wait let me put my pattern back in here so that I don't lose it I'll leave it in that bag until it outgrows it and then I'll put it in one of my bigger bags. <laughs> but I, I did some sewing today. I did I sewed some bags today and I'm gonna sew some more tomorrow for the next update, which will probably be sometime this weekend. I'm not sure. These are all scrap pieces of fabric that I wanted to use up to get out of my stash. Some of it I just had from the last update and some of it's been in my stash for a little while. So I just made a bunch of random size bags. Today I made zipper bags. Tomorrow I'm making tote bags. I got nine bags to make tomorrow, so there'll be nine totes of varying sizes. And three of the totes will have notion pouches with them, which I made today. So this is the first one. This bird's tweeting outside. I'm trying not to get distracted by the birds today. The window is closed, so I can't see them. This is Bee Gnomes, and it's a got a handle and a zipper on top of it. Most of them are just like white on the inside. There's a couple that's got like a print, but again, um, they're just scraps that I've been trying that I'm trying to use up out of my stash. So there's Bee Gnomes. I'll have the measurements um, box bottom. On the listing because they're all varying so i'll have to measure them all individually and do it that way and then there's dinosaur another smaller one these are like good for amigurumis or hats or socks or squares you know any of the littler projects you might have or notions you could even use this as a bigger notions pouch uh if you wanted to and then there's this cherry one it's a different it's bigger <laughs> different shape and then there are two with this school gnome print i love this print so this one's smaller, smaller, taller, 
and then this one's shorter but longer. They all have box bottoms. And all the ones, they all have handles, I think, except the actual notion pouches. And this is like a small project bag with the campers on it. Good for like amer little amigurumi projects, hats, like I said, squares, socks, whatever, what have you. Appliques, any little thing that you're making. And then there's Disney Princess one. I just got done making all these. And uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, it's like retro Mickey and Minnie. And then there's this beehive one, it's a little bit bigger. And then this one with succulents. And then there's this one drawstring bag. This is the bag I, I mentioned that I um, ran out of labels. The last update I did with drawstring bags. So I had to order more labels. And I just had one bag to finish, so it's a dinosaur print. <laughs> uh, it's got its label on it now. That's all I had to do is put the label on it. And I gotta run the drawstring. And then this rainbow star print. These are all quilted, by the way, so they're smishy. And um, so this one's got yarn or thread all over it. I gotta pick off. But this is like a bigger size bag. And then these three Notion pouches right here are the ones that will have tote bags to match. So it's like a um, floral print. There's two floral prints. There's that one and this one. So these will have matching tote bags. And this one is a fall print, but it was in my stash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to use it up. Really cute. I made bags, I think, last fall with this print it's like dogs and um pumpkins and stuff so i'm just making it so if you want to fall back early you, you got it i know some people really love fall so i'm sure someone will want it <laughs> but like i said these three will have matching little totes and then there's a few other prints um of totes they're varying sizes as well i'll show them in another video when they're done i'll reshow all of them and talk about uh the sizes of them if i can remember <laughs> but i gotta measure them all and write it down so when i'm making my etsy listings i can put all the right sizes on there and uh so this these bags will probably go up in the shop this coming weekend i'm not sure on the date yet it really just depends i'm hoping to finish them all tomorrow i only got the nine to make so it shouldn't take very long um but then i gotta do all the measurements take all the photos make all the listings make the video announcing it all that kind of stuff so there's still a lot that needs to be done um so i'm hoping earliest would maybe be Friday night, Friday evening. Latest would probably be uh, Sunday sometime. So somewhere between Friday and Sunday, these bags will be in the shop. But I will announce it on the Facebook group and on the YouTube channel. So um, you'll have like a heads up before it goes out. But yeah, so I'm glad to be getting rid of some of this fabric that's been little pieces just stuffed in there. There's still a lot over there, but most of them that I have left are um, themed prints. Like I got some Halloween ones and some Thanksgiving prints and a bunch of Christmas ones. So uh, I'll be waiting for later in the year to um, use those up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wanna get rid of all this cause then I can go buy a new fabric. And that's what I've been wanting to do is get some new like summer prints. Um, so, uh, but I'm trying really hard to use the yarn that I have and use the fabric that I have because there's no point in having it hoarded up, you know, if I'm not gonna use it. So I've been doing pretty good at using my yarn. I haven't bought any yarn at all this year. I don't think at all. Nope, I don't, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd have to go back and look at my hauls. I have gotten some in the mail, but I did not purchase it. It was sent to me, so that doesn't count. But I have been using up. And actually, my Stitch Your Stash video that will be coming out soon when I finish the project, I have used full four, no, yeah, four skeins in it. I'm working on the fifth skein, and there's another sixth skein that's going into it. So that'll be six skeins um, leaving my stash. So I'm excited about that. But anyways, I wanted to hop on here and share that stuff with you guys real quick. I'll leave the links for the patterns that I showed, the goose and the sweater, down below if you want to check them out. And I'm going to get this edited and up real quick. And then I'm going to make me some popcorn and watch some TV and eat it. <laughs> uh, Devin took Jesse and the baby over to his dad's house to let Jesse swim. They got their pool ready and um, to let them visit the baby. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how long they're going to be over there. They've been, over there. They've been gone for about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna just uh, take advantage of the time and just eat some popcorn and relax. And I, I probably should be cleaning and stuff, but um, I'll do that another day. <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow for what you're working on Wednesday. And I'll see you throughout the week, I'm sure, for other videos. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>